Hi, I'm Asha and I work with the Exotic Birds and Australian Mammals here at Auckland Zoo. This is Pedro. Good boy, Pedro. Pedro's a Sanconia. He's an endangered parrot from South America. Aren't you pretty? And he lives in tropical rainforests in his wild home. So Pedro was born here at Auckland Zoo. But his wild cousins are a, a threat of becoming extinct due to deforestation of their rainforest habitat and also due to the pet trade. A lot of people want to keep these guys as pets and they can be really lovely birds. Jose here was hand read. Good boy. And this is why he's so friendly. But when birds are taken from the wild, from the nests of their parents or even the adults are caught from the wild, their numbers are greatly reduced and they don't adapt very well to captivity always. Come. So this is threatening their numbers greatly. This parrot, the Sankonya, they eat mostly fruit and seeds. So here at the zoo they've got a mix of different fruits and vegetables. Oh you're loving this aren't you Boise? <laughs> yes. And they also get this is a, um, some of their fruit mix, so it's all chopped up into little pieces with some supplement added. And that ensures that they're getting a lot of the nutrients that they need by spreading it and splitting it up, making it smaller amounts, and they've got to eat lots of small pieces of different foods. We also give them um, a, a pallet. This is an organic pallet. Oh, good boy. Oh, he's like, that's not a sunflower seed. So that's made of lots of seeds, and it's also got vitamins and minerals in it. So if he eats all of his pallets, he's getting a very good diet. Come. Good boy. And in addition to that, we do give him some sunflower seeds. This is his favourite food, as you can see. Works very well for training him. Come. Come. Good. But that's like feeding humans chocolate, so we don't want to give them too much. So in the wild, these birds will live in flocks of up to 30 individuals. So they hang out together a lot to feed, and then they'll also pair off for breeding. Come. So in order to keep in touch with all of the different animals in the group, they have the very loud vocalisation, as you can hear. It's a little bit ear piercing. Come. Oh, you're doing so well. Come. Good boy. And uh, they also are very brightly coloured. It helps them to see each other as well. So in addition to their diet, and a little bit of training, we also give them extra enrichment. And enrichment is really important for captive animals because it stimulates natural behaviours and it keeps them active and mentally stimulated. It's also a good way of getting them exercising. Hey boys, now I've got a nice little ice block here. So the idea of this enrichment here is that they have to pick away from the ice all the little pieces of fruit that are in there. So that's going to keep them busy for quite some time. Good boy. <laughs> I think for now Pedro is a lot more interested in his sunflower seeds. Understandable. Good boy. So we're probably not going to see them use their icebox today. But that's okay because just providing a rich whether they use it or not, it's still something interesting, something different in their environment. They can choose to come to it whenever they like and, and it's all about giving them choice as well. So that's okay. So in addition to the chopped up fruit and vegetables, we do give them a little bit of um, whole fruit or vegetable as well, because that's more natural, that's more how they would feed in the wild. So we don't give them too much however, because we do want them to eat the other stuff as well. So hopefully he's going to go for this bit of corn. We'll just stab this up here. This also means that we can put it anywhere around the enclosure. doesn't matter whether it's under shelter or not, when it's not in a bowl like that. Good boy. Oh, there we go. He does like his corn. So we can put that different areas around the enclosure, at different heights, um, closer to the public, or anywhere we want to. Another thing that's really important about enrichment is that you make sure it's safe. Now parrots like to chew a lot of things, they can be quite destructive, so we need to be careful that they're given items that if they are going to chew them, that they're not going to ingest them and, and compact inside their digestive systems. And we also need to be careful with long strings that they're not able to tangle their feet or their necks or anything like that. So we've got to make sure everything's really nice and safe for them. They are very intelligent animals, so they quickly learn how to use things. And so it's a big part of our job to come up with new and different things for them.